Hey guys, it's Cauliflower, and today is Monday. So, of course you're not going to know what that means, because usually <laughs> I do this on Fridays. But yes, today is Monday, and I am shooting my Friday freebies and swap mail, because I didn't get a chance to on Friday, because it was Halloween. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I probably had one of the most stressful, um end of the weekend transitioning into today as I could possibly have. Um, all of last week was sort of stressful for me anyway. Um, my daughter was sick for three days and um, just stressing over trying to get myself back into school and working out financial aid. And, you know, family disagreements, and we had um, a storm over the weekend, a really big windy storm that knocked out our power for 24 hours from 6 a.m. yesterday till about 6 a.m. today. And just everything in general just freaking me out and getting me stressed. So that is the reason why I didn't shoot any videos over the weekend. So I wanted to make it up to you guys by shooting my Friday freebies today. And I have a quite... A uh, quite, no, quite a bit of it because, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that came in and I didn't want to make it on this Friday's video because it would be just like three hours long instead of, you know, an hour, half hour, whatever it is. Anyway, I'm going to get into it because I'm talking too damn much again. So, the, for, oh, and I have a um, different kind of swap this time um, and I'll get to that at, when I get to the swap. So the first thing is I have a ton of crap in front of me. Why don't I just talk about the ton of crap in front of me? And we'll go from there. Okay, so the first thing is from Clout Perks. Um, it's been a long time since I've gotten a Clout Perk. I, I don't even remember the last time. If you don't know what Clout is, K-L-O-U-T, Clout is part of your social media. You can hook it up to your social media on Facebook. And basically, it's the same thing. It calculates all of your social media and how you use it. And every once in a while, it will allow you to sample things or to get free things because of your perks. So this time, I received a sample of the Shiseido Serum. This is the Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. I just got this on Saturday. I have not opened it. I don't know what it's like, but I am going to be using this. I have so many serums, it's not even funny that I'm in the midst of reviewing. So this might have to take a little bit of a back burner, but that's okay. Okay, the next thing is really cool. This is from the Fight for Equality. I'll show it to you guys. Women's Equality Party. This is Fight for Equality started in New York. It's about women's rights, power to the people. And it is a t-shirt which says, let's party and have our, no, let's have our party November 4th, which is tomorrow, by the way, for you guys that are voting. Um, vote WEP for Women's Equal Party. So, very, very cool. I will be wearing this tomorrow as my you know, yeah, my rah-rah of women's equality and all of that nonsense. I'm just going to throw the garbage over in the corner somewhere because I don't even want to look at it at the moment. Okay, so if you're interested in joining that, I will just show you. It is called Women's Equality Party. And you can sign up for them, and it's a great website. They tell you all about it, and sign up for a t-shirt, Women Empowerment. Absolutely. Okay. And the next couple of things now are just review products, and I have a couple of campaigns as well. So here's the first review product that I got. This is Ageless by the Thera. Can't speak today either. Thera Vita Hya 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 Hyaluronic Acid Serum Aloe and Lavender Oil. I told you guys. I believe again. This is through Tomasin. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce. This is a huge puppy. And I will be doing a blog review on this once I incorporate it into my skincare. Like I said, I've got such, I don't, I don't want to talk about how much skincare serums I'm using. But that is one of them. Okay, the next thing I have here is a, a very strange type of a um, product. But it was intriguing to me because, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like taking care of my feet. I know that sounds terrible. I, I don't mean like I don't cut my toenails and paint them and all that stuff, but like sometimes when they get to that point of really dry skin, and I like to try and use one of those um, 
those things that look like a cheese grater, the foot petties or whatever they are, and it grosses me out. So I look for other alternatives to get that dead skin off of my feet. So I was interested in this and I signed up for it. It is called My Baby Silky Foot. And what this is, is you basically wear like these little booties. And this is the instructions right there. You wear these little booties. It says that you can wear these for about an hour. And here's the fun part. It says the dent, the dead, the dead skin cells will begin to peel from five to seven days after the initial application, which means it's like a sunburn on your feet. You'll be peeling crap off of your feet for the next five to seven days. But if it makes me not have to use one of those cheese graters or one of those, um, puma stones or what have you, I will give it a shot. I will give it a shot and see how it is. And I'm sure that it will pop up in some social media and you guys will see how gross that all turns out to be. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. And my camera is doing loveliness things again. All right. Hopefully it will stop doing what it was doing. All right. The next thing here I have is a book for review. This is actually, um, a new site that I started to, um, blog for it. They do nothing but books and book reviews. And I wanted to start getting into that because I really wanted to get back into reading again or give myself a reason to start reading again. But the other reason that I chose this particular book is because the subject is very close to my heart and it's something I know a good majority about, but it's always good to keep up on it. And this is the book Asperger Syndrome by Oasis Guide. This is actually the third uh, revised, updated, um, and expanded third edition. So it is updated for 2014. I think the original one came out 10 years ago, I want to say, and then they, of course, updated it again a few years later. This is no joke. It's a very big book, um, packed and very informative. If you know anyone with Asperger syndrome, which nowadays they call ASD, they don't even refer to it as Asperger's. My daughter does have this, um, and a lot of this is helpful. And I won't lie to you guys, reading some of this actually can really shake you up and really make you realize just what it is like for a typical ASD, um, recipient. I don't like to say patient. I don't find this to be a, um, I don't find this to be a dilemma. I don't, I know that this is a diagnosis. Um, I don't look at it that way. For me, it's a difference in a child and the way they view things is extraordinary and can be a little difficult for them. And Reading this book will definitely give you a lot of insight, so I have a lot to get through. Um, I actually was reading this in the, in the dark last night, and I started to get pretty shaken up a little bit because a lot of the stuff I do know already, and some of it is a good reminder that sometimes, even as a parent, when I get a little bit frustrated with her or if I kind of feel like I'm at my wit's end and I'm not doing the right thing, this book is giving me all of the tips and tools that I need to know. So it's a good, hopefully it will, I know it is a good read. It, it is so far, but I have to read it for review. I'm going to stop moving, moving on from that. Okay. And the next two things I have this, um, this is an Indiary leather blank book journal, which it comes like this. It's really, really gorgeous. And I like it because it is so unique. This is what it looks like. And it's made of handmade ma handmade materials. The paper is all handmade, which I think is so awesome. It's almost like recycled paper. Look at that. It just looks so old. And I can just picture, um, actually, when I wrote my review on Amazon, I said I could picture love letters being written in here and being put away in a chest somewhere and years later going back and revisiting those love letters. And it, I don't know, it just gave me a nostalgic kind of a view on it. And I think the whole thing is just really beautiful. I, I don't think it's more than $24 or $25. It's a great gift for Christmas. I'm going to be holding on to this to give to somebody. So yeah, gorgeous and useful and unique. And I love all three things. Sorry about that guys. Checking as, um, I hear the bus outside. So I have to make sure I hear my daughter come in. Okay. Next is another phone case from Max Boost. Here's a shocker. Another phone case from Max Boost. This one's really, really cute. This is of two pandas on a bamboo tree. I think that is adorable. These are iPhone five cases. In case you didn't know, um, Max Boost gives these out at least once 
a day. I don't know if they're still doing it. You can check them out on Facebook, but then when you do get a case from them, they'll send you special offers like a 20% off your next purchase. You can even buy a um, iPhone battery from them for 20% off and use the code Ambrosia, it looks like. So check out maxboost.com or um, check them out on Facebook because that's where, what I do. And every day they give out codes and they give out all sorts of different types of iPhone 5 uh, cases. So check that out if you're so inclined to. Okay, the next two things I have are actually campaigns. One of them is from Mom's Meat. I did not know when this came to my house that it was going to be as massive as it is. And I'm only going to show you like the main, pro the main products because there was quite a bit of these. The campaign is for the... Bob's Red Mill, and it comes like this. There's at least, I got at least five of these. Just gonna let you know. This is the gluten-free one-to-one baking flour, which is this big guy right here. So it's gluten-free one-to-one baking flour. Make your recipes gluten-free. I think this is really great, especially if you're looking to eliminate gluten in your family. I don't really have that problem, but I'm always open to um, trying things and I think it might be a great alternative. So it says you can use it for cookies and cakes, brownies, pancakes, pies, muffins, and more. And I always make pizza dough too, so I was thinking I could do that. But um, there are recipes on the back, so those are worth trying. And then they also sent a bag of the finely ground hazelnut meal flour, which is awesome. And this is also a good alternative to use for pizza dough if you don't want to use like your standard unbleached flour or anything like that. Then we have a eight grain hot cereal, which is of course handy around this time of year. It's starting to get cold. And then we have organic whole grain but wheat. Is but wheat. I don't know. It's just if you've watched that, uh, Saturday Night Live, yeah, I, I'm dating myself again, but it was an Eddie Murphy thing. Anyway, this is just uh, the grains, and I'm in love with whole grains. I love all that stuff. So, yeah, that was Mom's Meat. If you are interested in, in signing up for Mom's Meat, they give you great, wonderful campaigns. It's usually organic and all natural, and it gears towards, of course, moms and children and it's a great thing to sign up for, and every once in a while you get really great campaigns. This is my second one of the month. The last one I got was the xylitol mints, the um, the ones I showed you in my Friday freebies last time. So yeah, definitely check out Mom's Meat. Okay, the last campaign I have is from Buzz Agent. It's been a while, Buzz Agent, or Bzz Agent as they're spelled, Buzz Agent. So this time my campaign is for coffee, because I just apparently can't get enough. First I get an Influencer 2.0 uh, coffee maker, and now I get the Lavazza. These are the Keurig K-Cups, and we have them in Perfecto Espresso Roast, which, it, which means really dark and makes you really jumpy. And then we have the Classico Medium Roast, which let me tell you that I tried today and um, yeah, if this, if this is supposed to be the dark one and the more stronger one, I, I'm afraid of it because this was some serious stuff. I am not even going to explain how serious it was. I'm still jittery. Let's put it that way. And that was only one cup. With that, they sent a Lavazza traveling mug, which I think is really kind of cool. I love these types of things. And the standard... Tons of coupons, which is awesome. It is for $4 off a box. And if you know anything about K-Cups, they're really expensive. And, of course, they sent... Um, oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. There's more, more, more. There's more you can use on the website. This is $4 off using the promo Buzz4 at checkout. So if you want to go to shoplavazza.com and order coffee that way, you can do that and use the code. And, oh, I didn't show you guys the coupons for Red Mill. This is also included in that campaign for save a dollar off on the gluten-free. And there's some magnets in here, too. These are little coffee magnets, which I think is really, really cute. So that was Buzz Agent. Definitely check them out if you've never checked out Buzz Agent before. And 
it pays to do it. All you have to do is answer surveys and they figure out just by your answers what kind of campaigns you are suitable for. So definitely check out Buzz Agent if you haven't before. If you have all my friends out there that already have whatever, you know the drill. Okay, um, last here are swaps. I have one small regular swap and then I have one fall swap that I did with my good friend Liz, uh, or just Liz as I call her. So um, the one I do have in front of me, just a regular swap, is from Christina, and it's just a couple of items I will go with, go through with you quickly. It see the coffee is still talking. I told you guys, it's like a yeah. Wayne's World. All right. So the first thing here that she sent me is a nail polish from a company called Wet. I kid you not. W H E T. This is in the color yester yester night last night. It looks like a black. It does look black, but then I don't know. Sort of when it hits the light, there's a little bit of a greenish tint to it, so I'm really not sure, but nevertheless, it looks like a cool color. And then there's another one here, and this one is in, let's see, I have to open the box because it's in a tiny little box. This one is in facetious. Facetious. That is wow. Look at that blue. That is awesome. Really awesome, really dark. Hopefully there's pigmented as they look in the bottle. And then we have, which is be being used by me lately, the other color. This is City Color Be Matte Lipstick in the color Cappuccino. I think this came in the uh, Lip Monthly this month or Ipsy. Well, I didn't get it, so I got it now, and I'm really happy because I love this color. It is gorgeous, and I love their formula. And the last thing she sent me is from J-Cat, again, another thing that was featured in the Ipsy bag last month. This is in the Honeycrisp, I believe, is the name of the lipstick. Yes, that is it. So those are from Christine. Thank you, Christine. And my last thing that I will be going through with you is a swap that my good friend Just Liz, or Western New Yorker, if you've never seen her, um page before her her blog page and she does have a YouTube channel I will link that below she's a good friend of mine we decided to do a fall swap together so I'm gonna show you what she sent okay guys sorry about the interruption yet again alright so the last thing like I said is the fall swap from Liz and I will just show you everything she sent me so first thing in here I was a little like set back by this, but she sent me um, butterscotch beer. It's non-alcoholic. It's called Flying Cauldron, and I don't think I've... I am not a beer drinker. I don't like beer, but um, it's just a butterscotch cream soda, but it, lo it looks like a bottle of beer, so very, very cool. Okay, next in here, this is funny because I sent her a journal, too. She sent me this really cool uh, red, like, snakeskin journal. And, of course, it's got the lines and the dates in there. Very, very cute. And then we have, there. by the way, disclaimer for Liz and for you guys, some of this stuff in here has already been eaten because she sent me some snacks that my daughter grabbed. So the veggie straws, and I think there was a little package of, like, um, veggie chips or whatever my daughter took. So you won't see that. Here is a Fantasy Maker's Wicked Look Kit which is very cute because Halloween, of course, just ended, but um, we can always um, pack this with the other Halloween stuff, so very awesome. And she sent me two, not one, but two bags of these Super Seeds Gourmet Pumpkin Seeds. We have one in sea salt and one in tomato italiano. Very interesting. I love pumpkin seeds um, around this time of year, so I will definitely be enjoying those. Next thing in here is a, I love this stuff, I just told you guys about this in my last uh, favorites video. This is the Valentia Even Glow Serum. I'm so happy I have another one. It's my favorite out of all the ones I've been trying. This one has been my holy grail, I guess you'll call it now, because I've been using it more than two or three months, so, and I love, love, love this stuff, so I'm glad to get that. She sent me these. These are really cute. I saw her haul these. I don't remember where she got them from, but these are labels, and they're like, they feel like they're vinyl or like chalk, where you can just write whatever, and put them on your bottles or your mason jars, which is really, really cool. I like those. 
Then we have a very large bottle of Dickinson's Witch Hazel, which around here comes in handy, very much so. And I will definitely be using that. It's a pore perfecting toner. Very cool. And then we have some fig bars. These are Nature's Bakery Pumpkin Spice Fig Bars, which is funny because I sent her pumpkin spice coffee. <laughs> so we kind of just switched off on the kind of pumpkin spice items we sent each other, which is I think is cute. And then the last thing, she did put a bunch of stuff in here and I kind of transferred it out and put it in here. So in this Lip Monthly bag, we have... She's funny, this one. She sent me the Dove Deep Moisture Nutrium uh, Body Wash. A Olay Sensitive Body Wash. What are you trying to say, Liz? Hmm. A Suave Keratin Infusion Smoothing Conditioner, which, of course, everybody knows is my holy grail shampoo and conditioner. From Bella Pierre, this is their Pink Cheap Cheek. Cheek. Cheap. Cheek is what I'm trying to say, but it was saying cheap. Lips and lip stain. It's a really pretty color. I think that is... Ooh, I like that. I actually like that. That might work. There's no smell to it, so I might be using that for my cheeks. I like that as a cream blush. Okay, then we have Extend... This, is, this cracks me up. Extend Your Beauty. This is supposed to get 25% of your product out of one of those, like, tubes... Really? It's called a cuticle pusher, and that's exactly what this is. And I actually have one in one of my products inside, so it's funny that she sent me that. But anyway. Next thing in here is from Lash Picture Perfect Instant Wrinkle Reducer. I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> and then from Essie, this is a beautiful color. This is called Vested Interest. It is a gorgeous, mossy kind of a green. Maybe more so on the... Um, grayish green but really pretty for fall might be doing this next on my nails and then from chapstick which i have as part of my buzz agent not buzz agent no smiley 360 this is the chapstick hydration lock uh, moisture renew i have the day and night one so this is a different one and i do enjoy this so cannot wait and then the last thing in here is from revlon this is one of my old standard favorite BB creams, the Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream. And this is in the color pale. You saw that? I almost dropped it. It's pale, but it's really not that pale. So that is everything from Liz's Swap, and I think that is everything from everything from all of my Freedy, my Freedies, from all of my Friday freebies, my swaps, my uh, review campaigns, I hope you guys had a great Halloween. I'm sorry that I didn't see you on Friday or get to wish you a happy Halloween, but I hope you guys had a great one. I will insert a picture at the end of this to let you know what we all look like. Um, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye!